All right, let's get this out of our system. All right, calm down. It's just me. Shh, sit, 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 sit. Hey, you look like you got a bath or something. The white on you is whiter. She's getting washed or polished or something. She's never had a bath in her whole life. Never took a bath. Well, she jumped in the ocean a couple of times. Yeah, and she gets in water when she gets hot. Yeah. All right, there you go. You're done. It's amazing how that explosion of adrenaline just vanishes. Lucy, find your life jacket. Your Where jacket. is it? Get your life jacket. Where is it? Get it. Bring it. Bring it there. Okay. Good dog. Are you ready to put it on? Let's see if you will stay calm while I put it on. Let's put it on you, huh? Ah, don't bite. Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey. Hey, don't you bite me, you dork. <laughs> Come on, you gotta get your life jacket. Where is it? There. All right, all right. Shake, 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 shake. What is that? Hey, calm down. This could go on forever, so we'll uh, cut this off and come back later. Yeah, hey. So it's probably gonna be a short day of fishing today. The captain's got some stuff to do on the home front. So we're just gonna head back out to Redfish, No Fish, Troutfish Island because we caught two nice trout last week and that is alluring. So off we go. Fishing's promised land or promised island soon to disappear. Dog wants out. Dog, take a walk. Have of all. Go scout out the hot spots. So the island is significantly shrunkified, if I may coin a few words here. And I managed to bring a bucket this time because if you catch something, you don't have to walk it back to the boat. Uh, first things first here. I've got to try to secure the anchor. We're on a rising tide here, so it shouldn't be much of a big problem. We're not gonna get stranded. We just have to worry about the boat wandering. And we're not gonna be that far anyway. The tide is coming up rather rapidly. Get these little surges of water and it just gets higher and higher. Yeah, we're gonna have to skedaddle out of here, dog, or just stand here knee deep and fish. To get to the uh, deeper pools here, so I'm not fishing in six inches of water, I've got to walk quite a distance, and <laughs> the water is refreshingly cool. All right, now we're getting deep enough. Let's try it here. That's not quite far enough, but we'll give it a shot. Here's a pretty good uh, shot of the tide coming in. You can just see it moving. What are you gonna, dog? I'm showing everyone at home what's going on. You can't stop it by digging a hole. Now well, Lucy just moved a herd of birds. Nice going, Lucy. Of course, I was gonna go down there and scare them away anyway, because I wanna go down here and fish. Well, here's the minor plight that every fisherman suffers from at one point in time. My, my hook is on the bottom. It's probably connected to one of these rocks right now, but it ain't going no place. So I'm gonna walk upstream a little bit here and hope that maybe pulling it sideways will get, get it out. Otherwise, it's kiss that little jig goodbye because it's firmly anchored to a rock. Well, gave it a mighty yank and I got it undone. Jig intact. <laughs> the paint's a little beat up. But my dead shrimp is still there. Now Lucy relaxes here in the boat. Master has gone uh, looking for some mullet bait. And he was successful. Got like what, three of them? Yep. Good job. So here's the haul of mullet. Woo! Put one out for bait purposes. Don't disappear, mister. So we pushed off what's left of uh, Redfish Island. 
which is nothing at all. And we're moving over here next to this spoils island. And there isn't much more reason that we have for this, except we see a lot of people park over here all the time. And when you go by, they seem to be catching stuff. So maybe there's some magic here that's missing elsewhere. All right, we're leaving this spot. There was a, a big zero here. <laughs> At one point, I got a huge bite on my surface lure. And I started yanking and reeling in, and I realized the dog in the back of the boat had wrapped his legs around my side. So I caught a big dogfish. But other than that, other than losing my mullet on the bottom, nothing. Well, we've moved again because we were fishing the channel over there and it was a big zippo. So we're out here next to one of these little spoils islands. And uh, you just got to try per pretty much everything before you give up. So we're going to try this, bottom fishing and the casting into the shallows. So it's super peaceful out here. The, the drone of boats has kind of disappeared. And uh, the ocean is a flat, dead calm. And that's no coincidence. We pick these days. We look for forecast days where the winds, quote, light and variable, which means they'll basically stop at times. So if you're kind of a landlubber or a sea wimp, wimp with a big P, uh, you won't have to worry about getting seasick out here because you could, you could practically ice skate on this if it were a little colder. All right, before we throw in the towel for the day, we're gonna give it one more shot here, do a little couple of casts right here by Bennett Creek in the Withlacoochee River. I'm fishing the bottom with a live mullet and a little weight. And usually that gets you some action. And if it doesn't, it's nice here. All right, the captain's got something. Question is, is it hooked? Oh, I, I guess a catfish. Hey, it's going under the boat. Oh, whatever it is, it's a yeah, big old catfish. Look at that big old fish. I think you kind of wrapped him up too. He didn't want to give up. Ugh. Careful, don't get stabbed by him. Look out, Lucy. Bad. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't, touch. don't bite. So, well, like I said, this was supposed to be a siltoid, zipoid type trip, but it wasn't. It actually turned out all right. So, let's trot out all the cliches about our low level of success here. Well, of course, the best one is any day on the water is better than a day not on the water. And uh, this is why they call it fishing and not catching. Am I missing any of them? I don't think so. I forgot we caught a mess of mullet. Thanks for being with us. Good night, everybody.